Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's talk about this peace deal that you can definitely see the effects of. So, obviously on our left, we have the United States of America. Whoa! Mexico, some green, some blue, light blue country, Central, Central American Confederation. And we have South America, we have Africa, which actually didn't change at all. It's like Liberia. Liberia got... Wait. Masonic Liberia? Okay, they got... They have Masonic Liberia. Europe definitely looks different. And Europe... Asia didn't change at all. So, oh, uh... Your Australasian Confederation. They're in the Entente fighting the Japanese... Eight. Oh, the Transmur. Wait, Transmur is independent? Okay, I did not expect this. Apparently, Alexander Kolchak is independent of Japan. And I wonder they didn't get any territory from the Empire of Japan. Anyways, let's talk about this. So, at the peace conference, the Commonwealth of Canada demanded the return of the British Isles to the Canadians, basically. So, I ultimately had to give them all of Canada. Now, we did, before anyone complains or dislikes the video, before we did anything, they did see how f hard my men and their allies fought to liberate the British Isles. So in compensation, since, since Austria and her allies didn't do the most of the fighting in the war against the Third International, it was obviously a bunch of the Entente as well as the Reichspact. They got most of the spoils. But for us, we still got a little bit of territory here and there. So let me explain. So the Canadians own this part, the British Isles, which... Which is fine, I don't really care. We'll probably be back there eventually. I'm hoping they'll release the United Kingdom, but we'll see what happens. So, the Entente got that. I'll just go show you the faction map mode. So, here's what the faction map, map mode looks like. So, here we go. Let's start with the North and South America, America. So, obviously, Canada's up here. Actually, uh, Alaska should be part of the American of America, but whatever. So, we ended up with New England winning. And in my version of the peace conference, New England was given all the territory of the continental United States back to, uh, from Canada, which they pretty much took over. Actually, uh, Hawaii did get Guam, just because they were independent. I don't want to give it to Japan or deutsch Asian. Excuse me. So basically, New England reformed the United States of America. They're led by some guy I have never heard of, William Avril Harriman. Am I right? That's... And they're fighting the Japanese, I guess. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're part of the Entente, which was very odd to see. It was very hard to see that that guy's president, basically. So, basically, New England reformed the United States of America. Obviously, Mexico is part of the Entente. They are a puppet of Canada. Just because the Entente and Reichspact fought so... Fought more than we did. We fought hard. Don't get me wrong, but we didn't fight the most. Let's see. The West Indies Federation did get Guantanamo Bay, as well as Puerto Rico. Because odds are the United States will not be able to have any overseas territories. Canada also puppeted the Central American Confederation... So obviously the Entente's extremely strong right now. Very, very strong. Uh, other than that, so basically I left the Entente with North America, as well as the British Isles, before I talk about Europe. So basically that left me and the Reichspact. So I gave all of Argentina to the Reichspact, as well as I would say a good portion of Brazil. Basically both are under Germany. I literally just released Brazil, Francisco Prestes Maia, and Argentina is led by Ramon. So I loved that one commenter who said, "Hey, actually, you could you could claim the Habsburg crown, which was a Spanish crown at the time, over all the territory in South America." That's a very extremely interesting idea that I'm going to say right now that I've already claimed the title of all this territory down here that was part of the Spanish crown. I know, I know. It, I took Port. Oh. Brazilian lands, but let's just go with it. So basically, the Germans did not want to give up the whole of Argentina, but they were willing to sp split Brazil up because it's so kind of divided, because they had a civil war, like, in the past 20 years. So that's why we decided to split up Brazil instead of Argentina, even though, yeah, Argentina was in a civil war, but at least it'll be directly ruled by one leader at this point. So with but with the civil war in Brazil that happened, it was just best to divide up Brazil between two great powers. Yeah, we're great powers. So that's why I have all my soldiers here. That's why I have none of my soldiers here right now, and those are German soldiers. Uh, 
Can I release a different Brazil? Because I don't want to straight up ant next time. I don't want to return territory. No, it doesn't look like that. So I had to give back all the territory to Brazil. That's not going to happen. So with that in mind, yes, 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 I know they're Portuguese and it was claimed a Spanish crown, but, you know, whatever. I, I'm i laying freaking claims to all of South America. We need new colonies, I've heard. So, with that in mind, that is North and South America. North America looks pretty nice. And yeah, Brazil had a civil war, wasn't so good. And let's move on. So, like I said, Africa, pretty much the same until I kick the butts of Ottoman Empire and Europe. Here's the mess of Europe, so. So, like I said earlier... The British, or I guess the Canadians, came back to the British Isles. So they got all that. So the Canadians were like, we're going to have this no matter what. We'll give up everything else, at least for the British Isles. Which they got that. And I guess technically the United States, even though it was given to New England and Mexico and that stuff. And that's why I want, didn't want to give too much more territory to anyone else. Obviously, we saw last time the Germans released the French Kingdom under Francois III. And in Brittany, was it, wait, was it this guy, Louis? He's supposed to be like... This guy's supposed to be like 30 or something, 40 in this timeline. I can't remember. One of these guys looks kind of, yeah, he looks, he looks, he looks young. He looks really young. Yeah. Francois. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's a lot of stability, not. Okay. Okay. At least we like each other. That's good. Uh, non aggression pack, military access. Good, 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 good. Awesome. So this is where I divided up Spain. So as you can tell, Spain, uh, how do you say this? It's not Spanized, it's not Balkanized, it's not, it's not Italianized, it's Spanicized. Oh, that's terrible. Spanicized? Regardless. So the Reich's Pact took over central Spain with um, Carlists. Actually, I'm thinking about taking this territory back for me. But no, no, it, it wouldn't make any sense, at least for me. I don't think. Actually, I kind of like that look. Does that look look a little better? And it does, see? What if I did this? It would lag. I kind of like that. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks actually a lot nicer, I think. Makes it so, anyways, so I gave Galicia, Galicia, to Portugal because they, I believe they had a claim on that at one point. So, and Portugal didn't get very much out of this war. They didn't fight super hard, but at least they got something. Obviously, the Germans uh, own the Kingdom of Spain and the Raimon, which is kind of interesting. Or restoration. All right. Very nice. Remove all court states of the Kingdom of Spain and Iberian Federation. Uh, let's see. One of the... Da, 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 da. Carlos Spain was reached by another nation. Oh, so they can't do this if I liberate my claims to the Habsburg throne. Uh, I could puppet them. I, I think I will puppet them. Now, what would happen if I release the Iberian Federation? Now, there was a Kingdom of Spain. What was the other one? Kingdom of Spain... Was one more. I can't remember the other Spain. Obviously, it doesn't really matter. I try to send volunteers to the Kingdom of Spain, but I'm definitely not returning to. Okay, they don't have claims on this. The CNT, the Iberian Federation, does though. So I think, for now, I really like the look of the white on this country, but I could have two competing Spains. Going against each other because uh, these guys are okay. Mm, I don't know. I wish, I, to a degree, I wish I kind of let you guys know what was going on with this. But that's a huge but. Iberian Federation. Should I release the Iberian Federation or should I not? Huh. Of course, we have Portugal here too. Uh, we just fought a war. I don't think I want to liberate the CNT people. So I think I'm going to keep these territories for now. So, obviously, let's move on to Italy. So, Switzerland was divided up. So, the French kingdom got Romandie. Germany took Mittelland, as well as Ostschweiz. And my Italian puppet took Ticino. So, that was actually pretty good for the uh, Italians. Obviously, two Sicilies got Central Northern central northern Italy as well. Uh, yeah, the French Republic just lost out on everything. Because the British, or the Canadians, didn't give a shit about them. They just wanted their territory back. The Germans don't care about the French, obviously. And I didn't do enough to really have that much more of a say. However, we are still fighting greatly in the Ottoman Empire. Trying to break across here is not something easy to do. So with that in mind, I have devised a way for us to do it. What we need to do is have a naval invasion. Uh, let's see. Our goal is to get to Izmir. 
I'm confident that having enough soldiers here, that may or may not be the worst or best, uh, will prove to be of good use. You'll come down here anyways, since... And yes, I'm pulling soldiers off of there, I don't really care, we got... We got some Bulgarian divisions guarding that, so... Alright, so let's go ahead, see what happens. You need a general. Yeah, Ezekiel's a good guy. Good, I don't have to liberate anybody, I get to keep all that territory for now. Nice. Very nice. I'm really hoping to see, though, the Commonwealth of Canada um, release the UK or something. That would be interesting. So, what are the wars that are raging on? So, obviously, we have the Japanese... Wait, German-Mongolian War. Mongolian, Mongolian Khanate. Oh! They're at war with the Reichspakt. Okay. Uh, the Romanian-Arabian War. Wait, they were just a great power? Now they're not? Yeah, this is war, my war against the Turks, which actually no one's a major power on their side. Interesting. And then the Japanese-Hawaiian War. 1.28 million versus less than half a million. Nice. That's pretty good so far. Alright. Yes, I've got factories at the top. It, uh, okay, so here we go. So the United Kingdom was just released and has joined the Entente. A new order or return of the old awesome uh, factories. What do I need? I need medium tanks. Medium tankies. Tankies, good. Yeah, I'll, uh, I don't want to... Uh, I do want to make more fighters. I definitely need more fighters. I need to make more convoys and tactical bombs. I need more oil. I need more tungsten oil and rubber. That'll be good. Let's see. Could make some mechanized equipment, but yeah, that costs a lot of oil. Uh, we don't have that much manpower either. Ooh. Nice. Good. So the UK is back. So what is Canada going to do then? Uh, oh wait, are we mobilizing? Yeah, we're mobilizing. That's good. Canada. He still has a king. UK is led by the king. Restoration of the monarchy, so they get their own, their, I guess technically a new focus tree. Liberty Day. That'll be interesting to see what they do. I really hope that the Reichspact and the Entente go and head, butt heads against each other. Like, like, a Deutsche Middle Africa could try to fight the Entente with the Reichspact. I mean, they have, they, they stretch really far. They stretch all the way from the Atlantic all the way to the Baltic Sea. So that's pretty good. They have a big chunk of Italy. Uh, they have Ireland, which is interesting. It's just, I want to see them kind of duke it out and see who would win. I think I'm going to push, push for that pretty hard. I mean, the Entente is fighting the Japanese, and apparently the Reichspact's fighting the Mongolians, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, we need to invade somehow. Ooh, that's not good. And actually, yeah, trying to attack across the straits here, the, oh, this is the Dardanelles or something, very difficult, extremely difficult. We First of all, though, we definitely need... Actually, we'll do it down here. We definitely need more fighters in the water, so when I send my ships down here... God dang it, I need more manpower. <laughs> Advanced competing machine, very good. Yeah, this episode, uh, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, probably isn't going to be the most interesting. It'll be useful, uh, but it won't be... We've got a lot of good factory. Oh, uh, uh, requires it. I don't have the technology yet. However, it will be very useful. I'm not sure what I'm saying anymore. I, I need more thingy Uh Radar. Uh, Bulgaria. Actually. Can I ask you for... That's a poor state. Uh... Yeah, this territory. Let me ask for this. Nice. Good, 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 good. So I can actually start building this up. Yeah, uh, actually, radar would be really good to have. Let's see, some air power. Mm, that looks pretty good. I'm going to build more civilian factories if I can, just because we're pretty good on military factories at the moment. And I could use civilian factories to trade for more goods. Yeah, just build everywhere, pretty much. It's all mine. Alright, that'll be good. Yeah, I definitely need more oil and stuff. Uh, oh, Romania. Please, let me slurp, slurp. Let's see. Am I trading for a few more of that stuff? Good, we got more manpower. Better use it while I've got it. Oh my god, guys, please. Uh, please stop taking all the air bases. I know my, my planes aren't the best. They're not terrible, they're just not great. 100, that'll be fine. 
Ooh, yeah. We got some more. Good. A few more fighters. Transport planes. Naval bombers. Naval bombers are good. Ooh, interwar bombers. <clears throat> Looks like there's a lot of garbage here I'm going to have to get rid of. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of that. Plus, air support. I don't think I'm really using close air support. I know, regardless. Let's get rid of this stuff just so it's a little easier to use. I don't ever use transport planes. I mean, I suppose I could use them, but whatever. Enable bombers, yeah, whatever. Tactical bombers. Anything less than 100, I'm just going to get rid of. Yeah, looks good. Light tanks, strategic bombers. I'm going to keep the strategic bombers just because I will need them in the future. Uh, let's see. Anything less than 50, I'll get rid of. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so, I mean, just trying to attack over here is just kind of suicidal. Armor divisions, yeah, we got good 40 with divisions here. Good hospitals, we don't need those. Show you how many divisions this was over here. They got a lot of divisions down here, though. Don't, definitely, oh, we have air superiority. Are the, um, volunteers ready to go? Oh, we need three, four, three, four more days. Uh, oh, Turkestan Connig. Oh, they were just instead of being annexed, they were just granted membership. That's a pretty big Connig. Pretty large. Yeah, I purposely made it like this just so that I should really make the Reich's Pact go go to war with the Entente. That'll be extremely interesting to see who, who will win. Uh, what about the UK? Do you have a lot of ships? It's an interesting flag. Oh, what's this? Oh. Legacy of Syndicalism? Well, they were totalist for a, or, yeah, totalist for a while. There's no manpower, 10 ships. Germany has 172. How much does Canada have? They have a, less. Okay. They definitely have less manpower than the Germans. The Germans are extremely strong right now. I hope they don't go to war with me, though. I really, really hope they don't. Uh, yeah, if I even try this, it's like nine divisions. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, don't even try it. Alright, so it's 1942. We definitely need synthetic oil. I have enough factories that I think I should be able to do that. Send our boys over here. We must invade. Tally ho. Oh, good, no. Actually, the I I didn't show you, but I did check out the Ottoman fleet. Yeah, it's pretty weak at this point. The Ottoman fleet has three ships left. Very good. And that's why I wanted more um, planes here. Alright, nothing happened there. But then we took a Dreadnought, five cruisers, three destroyers, and we lost four destroyers. That's not too bad, honestly. Oh, they have divisions there in Izmir? God dang it. You know what? This calls for an audible. Oh, what happened here? Oh, an improved Dreadnought was sunk. Oh, can we actually win with these guys? Dude, if we can. That'd be so good. That'd be so great. It's only one division, and you have eight or six or seven attack. Dude, if you could win, please win. Please win. Please clap. Come on, please. I wanted to do another invasion, but actually, we need to enable uh, dockyard there. But I only had one thing, one allies naval base over here, and I don't want to, you know, travel too far to put my soldiers elsewhere. Who are you? You might want to... You can't join that. Yeah, you can't join that. Because it's already going. Darn it. We might be winning this. That would be great. They have a lot of planes, though. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, God. Oh, they put a few more planes in here. Uh. Yeah, we'll add a few more planes, even though it's not really good for us. Come on. Deploy faster. That's better. That's definitely better. I need more. I need more range. Um, we got a little bit of manpower. That's nice to have. Anything? Everything will help. Uh, naval bombers, but that's not really going to help me here. Uh, close air support might help me though. And Asia Minor. Come on, guys. Ukrainians are strong people. Strong, strong people. They have... Uh, okay, Russia. Well, I, I like what you're doing here. I actually really like what you're doing here. 
you have no naval base there, but you came from over here, which has a level 1 naval base. I don't want to send my tanks over here because the supply is so bad. The Russia! Russia. Oh, Poland joins the Vienna Club. Nice. Uh, made a parent their desire to join. Representatives to do that. Cool. Russia. Russia. Thank you. I'm so glad you're my puppet. I'm going to send these boys down here immediately. Thank you, Russia. You honestly have no idea how much it means to me that you're my puppet. You are just so good, Russia. Oh, oh no. Russia, get back. Russia, no. Russia, no. Turks, don't you do anything. Oh god, we can't even see the Turks anymore. Just, just get in there. Come on, boys. Come on. Before they do anything sneaky. Okay. We made it. Good, we made it. We gotta make sure that, though, we don't take too many territories. We build this up. Just, just in case. And, of course, the Ukrainians did manage to land there. Alright, then. So, with that in mind, we're gonna keep this territory here. Uh, let's see, we got plenty of... Oh, oh yeah, we'll send the Ukrainians in first. They love going first. They're like... They're like the Marines of my country. They, they will always volunteer to go first. And actually, I'm gonna send you down here. Just because... I don't want to lose these tanks. And yeah, it'll kill attrition, kill my tanks, whatever. That's okay. Go ahead and take as much land as you can down this way. Oh, Albanian oil shipments! Due to our control over Albania, with a sip of coffee, with, of course, the installation of Wilhelm Vied, we've managed to proc procure oil shipments from Albanian, from Albanian, from Albania, which will most certainly assist us economically in that it will boost our overall industrial production. Great! Thank you, Albania! We get more factory output and political power. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty darn awesome. So that will definitely distract the Ottomans. Uh, since we've landed, or since yeah, we've landed, with the great, great assistance of our, uh, with our Russian allies, God, I can't love you enough, Rome, Russia. Vladimir, you've proved to be a very loyal ally. Between your hard work What? Germany, why'd you go to war with Georgia? Are they... In fact... Oh, I see. Okay. They're totalists. They're led by Beria. Hmm, Beria. Sounds totally f unfamiliar. Hmm. Love water. But it sounds completely unfamiliar. How much population can we get? 6%. Yeah, we really don't have very much... Can I get... Oh, dang it. Can't do this yet. Ooh, air... Oh, I want Phoenix. Yeah, I keep saying that. I'm never going to get to it, though. Chief of the Navy would be good. Is there anything here? No. Darn. Extensive conscription. I kind of want to go with service by requirement, but that will really hurt us. So, I'm going to wait. I'm going to definitely wait for that. I do want to use more... That's a lot of manpower. But definitely want to use my own puppets divisions first. Let's see. What do we want for uh, this? I just want air superiority. That's what I want with this guy. Oh, plus 10%. Heck yeah. Anything else? Who's better? Godwin von the Brumovitz, Brumovsky or Julius Yum? I like Godwin. Let's go with Godwin. That sounds like a good guy. Ah, oh, the divisions are here. The tanks have free reign now to do whatever the hell they want. And yes. Thank you, my Russians. I mean, the Russians was probably... Taking out Russia was probably the best idea we've had. Just... God, yes. Just go ahead and put them out of the misery. The Ukrainians are doing a great job defending, distracting the Turks. And, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll uh, win this war by the end of the video. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Ah, the island of Rhodes. What a great country. C country, but province. Damn it. Island. Yeah. I played my Assassin's Creed or Odyssey. Yeah, I know my geography. I played my Rome Total Wars. I know that. And I know that there used to be the Colossus of Rhodes in my Civilization V. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm a gamer, yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> but this is really cool. Really, really good job, guys. Even though they don't even respond to me, but, you know. If they could respond to me, they'd be like, Yeah, yeah, Mr. Mokal over, yeah, great. We love you. Since you took us over. Brutally. Yeah. Cool. Uh, air support. Fighters. Heavy fighters. Bombers. Phoenix. That's so far away. Uh, well, it's 1940. It's getting close. We can wait for this. Radar is almost done. So let's do that one first. So we get the radar. We get some rocketry stuff. 
I've heard rocketry makes things go fly in the air very fast, even faster than airplanes that we have, currently have, or currently don't use. So let's go make an encirclement around here next. Uh, attacking over river is kind of a bad idea. Alright, tanks. Lotar, you are a great general. You should be under field marshal, to be honest. A good field marshal, like Carl Egelseal. Yeah. Even though he's not a tank guy, he's a definitely a mountaineer, a defensive doctrine guy, and a trickster. He is what we call Tricky Carl. I don't know. Maybe someone give him a nickname. Tricky Carl. Carl the Tricky Egg. Egg. Tricky Egg. Can't trip up the egg. I don't know. It's terrible. Oh, looks like the Germans have released Switzerland. But only Eastern Switzerland. That's disgusting. That's really disgusting. Got up the concentration. Yeah, since, I mean, honestly, we didn't do a terrible amount of damage. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, we probably want more extraction, actually. To the Third International one. We definitely did work to, to them. But that's why I wanted to take up the rest of Spain, as well as giving my puppet, Italy, some more territory. So, I mean, someone wanted me to give <clears throat> the British Isles, portions of the British Isles, to my puppets, which is interesting. But, mm, I don't know. Maybe for, if we go to war with Japan, maybe I'll give Russia a lot more territory back, maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, regardless, they don't really have free will. The only free will uh, that my puppets have is whatever I give them. Because, you know, I'm a blessed monarch that only wants the best for my country. We're well, going to send these guys. Send them that way. Let's attack over the river. Screw it. Because I am such a great person, and I believe in unity between all of the different races. <laughs> races, oh god, no. But ethnicities between all the ethnicities, I basically will tell you whether what you're going to get or what you're not going to get. So, so let them attack first. Uh, you, you go ahead and help out. You should be able to take this. They do have three divisions. We're winning. Going to give a little extra boost. We are, all, of course, attacking the river. Not great. When did you become level 5? Well, maybe you just became level 5. Nice. Uh, oh, uh, okay. So the French Republic, even though they lost... Oh, this is disgusting. They they didn't get anything out of the war, which is really regrettable for them. Which I, which doesn't concern me, because I don't care for France. The French have always been backstabbing bastards. Just like the Hungarians. Yeah. What's worse, a Frenchman or a Hungarian? I don't know. But regardless, the French Republic is struggling right now with internal conflicts. It's not up to me whether they got the Kingdom of France, or Metropolitan France, because I didn't take them out. Germany took them out. That was their, uh, the spoils always go to the victors, I suppose, so, that's good. Field hospitals might be a really good thing to do. Better artillery, yo, I'm already on top of the game here. Awesome, naval stuff, three, four, how about those big boys? <gasps> yeah, I like those big boys, that's good. That's good stuff, oh, positive. Alright, very nice. Where do we get just crush, get to Bursa, and take everything here. So how am I going to divide up the Ottoman Empire? That's a good question. Obviously, we took Krem from the Ukraine after the Weltkrieg. I'm thinking we'll probably take Tsarigrad and maybe or Oldrin. We'll take Oldrin, Tsarigrad, uh, this territory. Maybe we'll take that as well as Bursa. I'm not so sure on Bursa just because. Mm, I don't know. Tsarigrad is a lot of territory already. Maybe we'll take it. I, I know someone wanted me to take it, but I'm, I have mixed feelings about taking it particularly that tile. So if you want me to take, the, take that tile, please let me know in the comments below. If you don't want me to take the tile, mm, voice your opinion anyways. Cool. Uh, oh yeah, we probably need to go, we probably need to stop trading. We're run, really running out of resources here. Can I get any more, any more oil from anybody? Mexico, Commonwealth. Ooh, Albania has, uh, yeah, that much, good. Should have done that earlier. Oh, Brazil. No, they're not my puppet. Masonic. No one there. How about this? Tungsten. Sweden. Yes, please. Ah, good. Our production will go up. Better and better. Alright, so have we won this battle yet? We're getting close. We've got better radar stuff. Uh, rocketry. Uh, offensive air. Let's go with battlefield support. I never do strategic destruction because I never use those bombers. Uh, I should have done battlefield support. Whatever. I should have done that one as... What? We lost. Alright then, whatever. Be like that. Hmm. 
What if I just enter the Ukrainians in? I mean, these guys are pretty weakened from all those attacks. We can give our guys just a little bit of rest for our tanks here. I think that would be for the best. So enter the Ukrainians. Ukrainians are good, great divisions, great men. And these guys are holding up very strongly. Oh, how's our ships doing? I should probably <laughs> some ships. Uh, you got need a lot of repairs. Go ahead and repair. You don't need very much at the moment. Oh, good, they made it. Good job, guys. Good job. Right, so now we can move you over at this tile. I think this. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to capitulate the Ottomans this episode, which is totally, totally fine. Next episode, we will definitely capitulate them. We'll crush most of their armies and then figure out where we're going to expand next. I could start a war with between the Anta and the Reich's Pact and me. We could have a three-way war. That would be very interesting, actually. A three-way war. But I don't think I'm ready for that. I mean, we're getting close to being ready. I mean, sure, we have the Reich's Pact, but we have the Donau Adria Bone, which incorporates all, incorporates all of Scandinavia. A lot of this. And, but the Entente has a lot of all this. A lot of that. And they're also fighting the, uh, the Co-Prosperity Sphere. So if you want me to... See, Mm, I don't want to say metal, but influence the actions of the Reich's Pact as well as the Entente. Please let me know in the comments as well, and <clears throat> totally, legitimately start a war between the two, just to see who would win. Just to see how those two, basically, super factions at this point would strike each other, how who would win, who would lose, see what would happen. If, if it was me, I would probably see Probably the Reich's Pact winning in the end, just because the Entente would have to invade Europe, which is impossible. The Germans have a bigger navy, and they do have forces in, or at least they have territory in South America, so that gives them a good launching pad to take over the West Indies Federation, and ultimately Northern America. So that that's just my analysis, but who am I? Who am I? Uh, actually, before we end this episode, let's take out the small little circle first, and then we'll call it a good, a, a GG, a good game. All right. Uh, let's see which one has a port. This one. Oh, oh wait, this is my territory. Oh, the, neither of you have a port. Okay, good, good. Screw waiting then. Uh, send in a single division from the side. Good, 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 good. Super easy, super quick. We've lost not that many guys. We've lost a lot more Ukrainians and Russians, almost the Germans. The Ottomans have lost over a million. Great stuff. We made an encirclement. I hope you're happy with us. The Dominion of India declared war on the Bharatiya Commune. All right, then. I guess it's a good place to stop this episode, then. Uh, let's see. We're going to put you first over here. There's only strike north next. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you're okay with the changes that were made to the territorial gains. I'm sure someone will complain, but with the rights and responsibilities balance, I think this is ultimately... a a fairly more balanced peace conference of what happened with the Third International. With that in mind, please leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we kick some more Ottoman ass and figure out what direction we're going to go with next time. Thank you very much for watching.